Good evening. Tonight we begin with justice. Justice delayed for 86 years that has finally come. A Nazi guard in a concentration camp has been found guilty of 5,232 counts of accessory to murder. A survivor of that camp was a witness to that guard's horrors. Her testimony was a part of the evidence to convict him. Her name is Judy Mizell, and just two years ago, she told me her story. And tonight, her grandson shares the next chapter, this historic conviction. Judy Mizell was 14 years old when she and her family were stolen from the lives they lived and imprisoned in the Stutthof concentration camp. She was there with her sister and her mother, a mother who told her then in that camp. At least we have now. We got to live now, day by day. It would only be a matter of days back then, in 1944, that she would be by her mother's side. Because on a November day that year, the Nazis took her mother. I said, where are you going? She says, I don't know. I said, I want to go with you. So she took my hand and we went, and we went in the gas chamber. Judy would run with her sister and eventually get to freedom shortly after her mother's murder, one of 65,000 in that camp. And for decades after that, Judy would fulfill a promise she made in the barracks of that camp, that if she survived, she would tell the story of what happened there. I'm really fortunate that my grandmother is one of those people who has spent her whole life telling her story as a warning for us against where racism and bigotry and intolerance can lead. Judy's life work of survival was singular. Tell the story so that every single person she would tell would then be a witness to the truth of the Holocaust. She taught us this story since, uh, since as long as I can remember. We talked about it consistently. And it wasn't until the FBI called our family in 2016 that the thought of some kind of criminal justice for what happened was possible. When that call came, Judy was 87 years old. She had created so many witnesses to the Holocaust by then with her story. So it mattered that she was finally being asked to be an actual witness. And it mattered even more because of who was doing the asking. Just that moment alone at the beginning of all this, for her to be, be sitting in her apartment with German authorities, asking her, tell us what happened. We want to find justice for you. Just to think of what was going through her mind to be sitting there with people from Germany, 70 plus years later, saying we care and we're trying to do what's right really meant the most to her in this whole process, I think. The trial of 93-year-old Bruno Dye, the former Nazi guard, began last fall. Judy was too frail to go to Germany to be an in-person witness, so her testimony was read in court. Her grandson, Ben, went in her honor. For me, it's definitely shocking to suddenly be in the room with this person who you know was a Nazi and stood on a watchtower over my family uh, at, you know, so many years ago. Ben said Dai's early defense was, yeah, he was a guard at the camp, but what happened there wasn't his fault. Ben said he was drawn to trying to understand how then, how could this guard and thousands of others stand by and be associated with the genocide the Nazis perpetrated? You know, you look around and it makes you wonder and think about the fact that these were normal people who were convinced to do evil, evil things. And that's a, that's a lesson out of this that has been very eye-opening for me. A lesson he's still wrestling with, even today, when he got the news. When I did learn that he was found guilty this morning, it was uh, a huge sense of relief. For your grandmother, for your family, participating in this trial was your goal punitive? No, definitely not. Uh, this trial had nothing to do with trying to seek out some kind of punishment or um, there's no like eye for an eye, of course, here at all. Um, you know, we've just wanted the truth. And, you know, my grandmother made a promise in the barracks at Stutthof to share her story. And so it was an opportunity for her to share her story. Um, and I think in a way that was profoundly meaningful for her. You know, the context of, of being listened to in Germany uh, 
is just, you know, beyond anything I could, I could have wished for her uh, within her lifetime to be able to do that. And that brings us to Judy. Ben said he and his father went to her today to give her the news that that guard was found guilty. He said she felt relief. As for forever now, her story will survive in the official record.